Roy has a new grunt, and early to mid-October should be the best time to try it. Word on the street, well, the forest path, is that the fallow rut this year is a bit of a hit-and-miss affair. But Roy is tooled up and ready to hit, not miss. It's five o'clock in the morning. Well, no, it's not. I say it's six o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock would have been very silly. No, six o'clock in the morning, and we are hoping that the fallow boat and we are hoping very early, and we are hoping that the fellow buck rat is on. So we have Grunter at the ready, we've got Antlers at the ready, we have Willing Helpers at the ready, So, and we're going to go in and see what we can find. Main aim of today is to go in, obviously, have a look on a couple of rutting stands. Um, hopefully we may find um, our big old boy. I want to assess him because he's now starting to crack on, so it might be the year to take him, but... We'll have a look and see, and see how he's looking. Um, if not, then we'll look to take a couple of satellite bucks if we can. Um, there are a few prickets with very poor heads, so if we come across those, then they'll be um, prime candidates for this morning as well. So I think the, um, a few people are saying they've heard grunting. Um, we're still potentially a little bit early, but you know it should be it should be kicked in. So fingers crossed. There are two main rutting stands on this ground, but dog walkers can put the fat in the fire, the cat among the pigeons, and even the bat in the belfry, if you see what I mean. Our first approach through the bracken disturbs a couple of does. We keep still, and they walk off without sounding the alarm. Roy takes it slowly and, when within a hundred yards of the stand, he starts with the antlers, simulating bucks fighting. We see movement. He switches to the call. Suddenly there's interest from in front and behind. We switch to IR sensitive mode to get a better look at a spiker that's just 50 yards over our shoulders. There's more movement in front, and Roy thinks he should have had a shot. I thought it was a bricket coming up. I've just seen him again going through the trees as he was grazing away. And it was a very poor two-year-old, so we should really have taken that one. But he'll still be here, as I say. I don't really want to cause a massive amount of disturbance on this stand. We'll just let this settle, and hopefully we'll come back in a couple of days' time, and there might be a, a big buck in residence, and then we can have a look and see what he's like. We leave the stand as quietly as we can and make our way to the second. The approach is slow and methodical again. There are too many potential lookouts to rush it. This time we get right onto the stand. It has been busy, but it's not at the muddy, smelly stage Roy expects. Right, we've come into the rutting stand and again you can see there's definitely been a beastie on here. Um, so there's been a buck holding court. But it doesn't smell that much. You know, when you get it on the ground and sniff it, it really doesn't smell you know, that strong and poached up at the moment. So I think we are just at the sort of inception of it. It's quite a tricky little stand to get into, this one, because he's got nice little banks going up to the woodland there. And fairly open view out. We 
what wind we had, unfortunately, was eddying in almost. I think he was probably just mooching around in here, but I reckon that we probably winded them as we came in this time. So we saw the does early on as we were coming in, but it's a good sign. At least we know that you know, they're, they're in, um, and hopefully another few days, and if the temperature drops, if we get a frost, it'll be lovely, and it might kick off again. So we'll just have a look out on the, um, We've got a, a sort of clearing out here, so we'll just make sure there's nothing just sneaking along the edge of the woodland there. And uh, I think we shall reappoint and uh, come back and see the boys in a few days. So the rut is on, but not in full swing. Let's hope Roy gets another chance to come back and see if his favourite buck is back in town. <laughs>